Welcome back to Say It In Four. I'm your host, Terrence Edwards. Today, we have Brad Jenkins, Sharnetta Williams, Brittany Crutchfield, and Chanel Flagler. Welcome to the show, guys. Hey. hey. Yeah. All right. Oh, like normal, let's put four minutes on the <laughs> clock, and here we go. Kim K, on February 19th, Friday, she filed for divorce from her husband after seven years of marriage. What is going on? Brittany, talk to us. It's been coming. It's a long time coming. I feel like we've known this was coming for a while now. Ever since Kanye been going on his mental health issues and it's been really getting to a, a peak and he's really been like showing out. Like, I feel <laughs> like that kind of, we knew it was coming. You don't see them in public no more. They, sh- they don't post anything about each other. Yeah. She only posts the stuff with her kids. So it, we knew it was coming. It's sad. Um, but the Kardashian curse is real, y'all. Like, they go through them. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> that Kardashian oh, child. Really. Hey. Hey. Now, this is actually her third marriage, believe it or not. It's, it's yeah. ridiculous. I thought it was the second. Like third. I do feel like this one was real. The one with the, the basketball player that was only for like a couple of days. Oh, Chris Humphries? Yeah, yeah. 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 You, know, you know, that one was just for the show. But I do feel like because way before, you know, she was who she was, Kanye had a crush on her. He used to talk about her and everything like that. So I do feel like the love was real. But I feel like their family puts some type of pressure. Or, for real. Uh, it's a something, juju? of course. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, a it's something going on out there. Yeah, for yeah. sure. It's ridiculous. Netta, Netta, how you feel about it? It's <laughs> sad. I'm sad a little bit. I wanted it to work. I did. Um, you know, a lot of people tried to warn Kanye. You know, they was like the whole mm-hmm. get out thing. They was like, no, nope, this is <laughs> Jay Z was like, okay, no, don't do it. But you know, but I do feel like she really did genuinely love him and wanted it to work. Um, right. They're just like on different paths right now. She wants to be in LA. He wants to be in the country somewhere. They just got a lot of stuff going on. They need some counseling, some therapy, something. Right. But I hope they can work it out. I hope it's not the end and that they can work it out. But he is, he's also got some issues with uh, handling money. Like he's gone bankrupt a couple of times. He got it back. You know, he found a way to get it back. But she ain't about that life. She's like, look, I'm, I don't mess with my money. She's very financially <laughs> responsible. And his recklessness with, you know, spinning, building. They definitely built an empire together, for sure, from reality, yes. uh, TV to music and et cetera. Brad, how do you feel about it? Oh, man. I'm the last person you want to ask. You got to remember, I thought North was the only child. <laughs> That's the last time I kept up with them. So when I'm talking to the missus the other day, she's like, oh, yeah, they got four kids. I said, what? I said, so, but honestly, when they first got together, it was the whole Kardashian, you know, um, hex to me. I said, yo, that's not going to last long. I said, you got Kanye who's on already. Well, now we know he's basically bipolar. I said, but at that time, I'm like, he's on the deep end. I said, that's not going to last too long. Um, I'm not surprised. I'm more so glad that they it's it's amicable versus it being ugly. Right. Yeah, being messy. A story. Right. You know, right. nobody's Is touching each so? other's assets that they had beforehand. But if right. the love ain't there, you gotta let it go. I mean, these are two celebrities. Mm. They can find their groove again at some point. So let it go. But she stuck with him, she stuck by him. She's always been a champion yeah. for him and never threw him under the bus. Right. So right. I mean, what can right. you ask of her? If she's tired, she's tired. We all know yeah. Kanye's antics. We know how he can be. And I mean, it's time to move on. So yeah. I, I, listen, I'm I'm it's sad to see anybody get a divorce, but obviously there's some leading factors that led up to that that you just gotta let it go. So let them be gone. Yeah. Chanel. Valid. I listen, I'm gonna say this. First off, Kanye, I I know he has he's always had a crush on Kim K, but you kind of knew what you was getting yourself into. You knew right. what you was getting yourself into going into this industry. You knew what you was up against. And it's no disrespect to Kim K because I have to say, like, this is your third marriage. Like, there must not be something right with her, too. And I'm not going to say it's Kim's fault or it's Kanye's fault because the kids, the, the ones that's going to be really suffering is the kids. That's hands down. So I really pray for the children. And, you know, they're great parents to both of the kids or both the four of the kids. But all I'm saying is when it comes to Kim Kardashian, like you said, there's the vex or this juju that the family got going on. It's like, you already have warning signs. Like, I'm not surprised that this happened. And I think anybody would agree with that. 
but I'm more concerned with Kim K because now it's like, this is your third marriage. So like, what are you going to do now on? Like, are you going to just keep repeating the same thing? Or are we going to have 10 marriages? I really wish her health. She needs, I think she needs like therapy or something. The key aspect of this is also that they both decided to sign that prenup. So they're moving out, you know, saying where they came in. Huh? That makes things a lot easier. Of course. (laughs) And um, one thing that was really alarming to me during the campaign in um, South Carolina with Kanye, he said that with North, he didn't want her to be born. He said he wanted to get rid of her and right. yeah. to continue. You know what I mean? So it started there. It's been going on for a while. For a minute. I think, right. Yeah, for a minute. All right. So let's transition over to Lori Harvey and Michael B. Um, of course, they're mm-hmm. back in the news once again. Um, little Boosie or Boosie Badass. I don't know his name, whichever one we're going to use today. Uh, <laughs> recently <laughs> sounded <laughs> off about Lori's dated history. Um, how do you guys feel about that? Let's start with Brad. It's always the dudes who can't get to play. They mm. want to sit there and run their mouth about other mm. people's stuff. Ooh, wow. Ooh, at okay. the end of the day, Beach. all she's doing is reading that book. Think like a man. She's doing what she want to do. And you got to mm-hmm. respect that. I mean, if it wasn't celebrities, we wouldn't even know nothing about it. You see what I mean? But the fact that it is celebrities that she's, that she's been dealing with lately, that's what puts it in the spotlight. But at the end of the day, she's doing what she wants to do. Now, I'm just not going to sit there and say that I condone it or don't condone it because it's not my life. It, it is what it is. Let her do her. But I don't think that it's his place to put it out there that she's running reckless and he wouldn't do her or, you know, I mean, like, bro, look, like, look at you, bro. Like, she ain't even coming at you in the first place for you to even worry about. <laughs> right. <laughs> You ain't got to make that decision. She made it for you. You know what I'm saying? But oh my. Let, no, I can't. let I Michael can't. B. Jordan be happy with who he's with because it's just coming right. down to one man hating on another man, but the females in between. So you throw her and scrub her. You can't really touch right. Michael at this point. You know what I'm saying? So, dude, out of pocket. But that's yeah, his, I mean, that's his, his, his main his about main controversy. Argument, yeah, his main argument is that um, we're giving her too much clout, too much praise for going from future right. to Trey songs to this person or that person. And Diddy. Where it should right. be, Justin. yeah, Diddy and then uh, Justin or Diddy whoever. The son. Uh, his that's son. Weird. That's yeah, so weird. So all Boosie badass so or uh, whatever his name is, Lil Boosie, uh, he <laughs> just, <laughs> he mm-hmm. just said like, yo, it should be the, the guys. So like Trey Song and Future, they should be getting the clout opposed to Lori Harvey. Netta, how do you feel about that? It's tough, man. You know, it is that whole double double standard thing. Um, you know, she's been through, she's had a lot of high profile relationships. So that alone gives her a um, reputation, you know, and now Michael B is like, pretty much seemed like he's trying to wipe her up, boo her up. And, it's, and he doesn't have that type of reputation. You know, his relationship life has been pretty quiet but at the same time i mean i hey if if that's the one and he's found the match in her then you know (laughs) no um i kind of agree it it goes to the whole double standard thing if this was a man when future only thing we call future is toxic but we don't say you know he been running through females and when he gets with another female we don't look at the female too crazy or anything like that so it's just like i feel it is that double standard at the end of the day lori harvey is a single woman she's you know so she's dating she's doing what women are supposed to be doing finding your perfect man how are you going to find that man unless you date around and so i don't feel like there's nothing wrong with that she's beautiful she's rich let her live her life you know what i mean so now with her dating diddy and his son that was a little trifling no. but we don't know the whole story yeah. <laughs> and even, no, even there's no no go ahead like, that, that was a little trifling i mean but i was on the outside looking in maybe it wasn't what we all think it was a li- but <laughs> little trifling <laughs> that was beyond how you date was. the father and then date the son no I'm they, the, I yeah. think she dated him she dated the son first right she dated the son first and then came she back she dated Justin and then you went to the father not son that was, I so never understood I really that really I'm sorry I I'm sorry no Steve Harvey at during this point Ooh, right? that's <laughs> always been my right <laughs> what is he all right why you doing all these strawberry letters you need to be talking to <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> he gave everybody else advice, but you said not, he got a real strawberry letter going on. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Chanel. You ain't never lied to Steve Harvey showing yeah. all that. It don't make no sense. You got all this nerd to be giving audience members advice and what they should do and helping these people, but you can't help your own child. You got to right. get it together. I'm sorry, but that kills me with Lori Harvey. I but I love that she's independent. I like that she can do whatever she wants to do. But when you hopping from the son to the father, it's just like, well, something's, something's not right with you. And the Holy Spirit. <laughs> you know, maybe she should, the like, maybe she shouldn't like post all her business. Maybe she just need to keep right. it quiet. Yeah, it might be. Right. Yeah. But, you know, she's looking and she's putting it out there. She's putting it out there to be judged. So, I mean, that's what's happening. So let's go from L.A. to Philadelphia. Brad, Ooh. your boy, Meek Mill. <laughs> right. Meek Mill going to Philly with this one. Hey, um, one critics one erupt after Meek Mill turns Kobe Bryant into a lyric. Um, in the song Don't Worry, R.I.P. Kobe with Lil Baby, he stated, Yeah, and if I ever lack, I'm going out with my chaffa. It'd be another, I'll be another Kobe, something like that. What's mm. going on with that? He, does he have the license to say that, Brad? I don't think anybody no. has a license to say that. And, then, you know, Meek, I, I support Meek definitely because he's from Philly. But this is one you got to be like, yo, you out of pocket for this one. It's too early to be talking about Kobe. Kobe is too hey. revered to many people on mm -hmm. many different levels to be even putting them in a lyric of that nature. If it ain't mm -hmm. something that's uh, reminiscent about who he is in a positive way, you can't sit there and try to put some lyrics together to claim some fame from his name for a mishap an accident a tragedy like nah right. you know what i'm saying i can't do that i can't i can't back that you know what i'm saying it was but I, I ride with meek mill all day but i can't back that act right there i can't yeah right Brittany. um i don't know i'm kind of 50 50 with it part of me i agree with you brad like that was it was totally out of pocket for you to sit there and get clout and to you know profit off of somebody's tragedy and mind you he lost a daughter as well his you know his wife is grieving still from this so that part of it and for you to say something like that and she probably heard it her daughters probably heard it you know they reliving it that part was like, yeah that's very sensitive on the flip side this is rap right like i've i've always felt like there's there's kind of a you can say whatever you want to say in rap because it's supposed to be hard it's supposed to be you know thug it's supposed to be all of that when eminem eminem made his whole career off of saying ruthless stuff about his own mother about his baby mother hello so it's just like uh i, I don't know yeah, but like, there's so many different lyrics that you can use uh, instead of saying something because like that, because it was Kobe and he's so, like he said, so revered that I felt like maybe not Kobe. You could have probably said that was yeah. somebody else, right. not Kobe, because there's things that's off limits. Kobe, Kobe is one is of one. them. Yes, I, yeah. I agree. I agree. Kobe is done. No. Say this like I well I'll say I respect Kobe. You know we all grew up with Kobe Bryant, so I respect him one hundred percent. He was a humanita uh, humanitarian. I mean he was just a great role model, a great example. I, I understand where everybody's coming from as far as like it's too it's too soon to be having like you know making comments about him. It's very insensitive. But I will say that people are canceling Meek Mill over this lyric. And I'm like, how many times have celebrities passed that people was making fun of Michael Jackson and coming at him before he passed away? There was a uh, Fabulous had a line about Aaliyah when she died. Um, you know, and it's not necessarily always in a negative light. But, you know, I think people interpret things and I think it just kind of got carried away. Should Meek Mill be canceled? No, I, I don't think he should be canceled, but he could have been a little more considerate of using that lyric. Point blank, period. I think he thinks he's on I a higher that. level than what he is. He He's not there to where he could to say yeah. something like that. Can't touch that. Yeah. <laughs> and if you was on that level, I mean, well, mm -hmm. Well, if you wasn't right, on that level, they wouldn't level. say those type of things. That's what like, I said. Jay-Z would, would never say something like that. Right. Jay-Z would never say something like that. Eminem that's wouldn't true. say that. Yeah. Yep. Now. Yeah. Maybe not Kobe, well, but Eminem's like been Eminem, reaching, though. But he reaches, Back though. in the day, Eminem, back in the day, he reaches. would he have say something like that? That's questionable because, again, Eminem, when he first came out, yeah. he was just ruthless, ruthless, talking about killing his big mom, killing his wife. Yeah, I mean, them. Killing his mom. yeah. He wasn't crazy enough to come for nobody black. <laughs> that, part, that part. 
<laughs> so I'm going I'm to be the one to say it. You know, he had limits and he knew lines. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Because Nick Cannon was getting that Eminem when he was beefing with but Eminem. And he was nah, talking about F, nah. Black Bees. Nick Cannon is so not that level. I don't, want, I don't know. I don't know. Brad, you want to defend, you wanna wanna defend your guy way. before we close out? One last time? I'm all, listen, I'm always <laughs> going to defend my guys here back in Philly, but let's be honest. Wrong is wrong. Right is right is wrong is wrong. But if I, if, I, get if you. I meet more personally, that's a conversation I would definitely have with him one-on-one versus outing him and blasting him to the world. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, that's the type of individual I am. If I, we're going to talk one-on-one. I'm not going to put it out there. But, I mean, when you really think about it, yeah. you, know, you were in the moment and you just said something that was just, you tried but to be how, hardcore. But it's a record, right? He had time to go to production, put it out. Right. He had time put it in it. it was in that recording studio. When he recorded that, put it together, and nobody said, hey, yo, whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, maybe this ain't the look for you. Maybe you shouldn't do that. Right. Everybody just said go. Yeah. They let it go. Exactly. They let it pass. Well, because they knew the, that's 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 about they get attention yes from around. it. Yeah, the yes men. If that's, that's, to, that's true. Because I wonder good. if somebody reached that's out so to him though. Somebody like high profile, maybe like um, a Jay Z. Uh, oh, high profile, yeah. Mm, probably. Maybe like a Jay. Uh, like maybe a... they was close to Kobe too, Jay and Beyonce. So I wouldn't be surprised. Or he might, like I said, you know, the cancel culture is really big. So who's to say, you know, he gets an opportunity again? You don't know. Right. That's well, true. there you, you have to be careful it. what you're saying. Yeah, thank Mommy. you once again for uh, tuning in to another edition of Say It In 4. My name is Terrence Edwards. Once again, we got Chanel Flager, Sharnetta Williams, Brittany Crutchfield, and Brad Jenkins.